Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'd like to give you an update to my Bulgaria build. I know a few of you guys have been asking for this and I've just been doing playthrough after playthrough trying to find the best way of playing Bulgaria in uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Of course I am on Elite Iron Man mode with Historical AI so that does change things up a little bit. And as you can see, here's a playthrough where I switched up my base build by supporting this Veno so that I would be able to get Vladimir Stoichev, who gives us a 10% buff to division attack, infantry division attack, and 15% buff to infantry division defense. So you might ask why I made this change in the build, and it is because I forgot the cavalry only is never to never a thing. And that is because the doctrines do not give buffs to cavalry. And please correct me down in the comments below, but if you look at mobile warfare doctrine, uh, there are no buffs to cavalry whatsoever in any of these badges. So even down here, you're seeing buffs to uh, mobile armored cars, motorized things, mechanized, motorized, mechanized, motorized. And even this has a horse uh, towing some rocket artillery. And it has a big X through it here. So it says all infantry, mod and mech, organization plus 10. All infantry, mod and mech. That's all you get for most of these. So there are no buffs to cavalry. So basically, cavalry is strong at the beginning of the game because it is. You can use generals like this guy right here that gives you cavalry expert and cavalry leader. Uh, cavalry attack 10%, defense 10%. But your doctrine is not going to buff your cavalry at all. So what I've noted here is that your cavalry does attack well, but it needs something to back it up. And um, as Bulgaria, what you also get, and what I pointed out in the first build video, was that you can get Zilkov here, which gives you a 15% cavalry attack in defense. The cavalry just doesn't have a high enough organization to hold the line. So my current strategy is going to be to get both Stoichev and Zilkov and support this Veno you do get a little worse of a starting position because you don't get a lot of that sweet, sweet stability that you would get otherwise. And you also lack the army experience gain um, and 20 political power. But I think that in the end, you do get enough stability where it's not a big deal. And... Um, a infantry expert is always necessary for any OP playthrough or speed run or anything like that. So those are the updates and that's the reason why the cavalry can never hold the line and you need infantry because they get all the buffs from your doctrine. I would suggest uh, supporting this Veno and um, I would still go with the cavalry spearhead because they are quite powerful still in the early game. And just to explain to you what's going on on the screen right here, I'm in elite mode, and it's September 1939. Germany has attacked Poland, and I'm attacking Romania just as they do that. And that's basically because you're not going to get air superiority. Here, let's let this run. I guess you're not going to get air superiority anyway. Unless Germany is attacking the Allies. So I think ideally, the reason why I'm getting pushed back here is because I don't have air superiority. And it looks like French, France and the UK has all their, air, their aircraft here in Romania. You need to wait until the Battle of France starts. And then you can most likely take out Romania. So you're not going to be able to attack into Romania until like 1940. I'll demonstrate this on part two of the Bulgaria build. Thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel. 
please leave a like and subscribe. And I'm sorry for the, the error. Hopefully this video updates that error. Don't ever go cavalry uh, only. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.